Hey everyone, in this video I'll be providing some more recent news for the Legion Go for the last week as well as testing out the newer BIOS version 28 to see if performance has improved. On November 24th, Ben Myers from Lenovo posted an update on the Legion Gaming community forum about a new BIOS update they were working on that was going to include several fixes and features. Some notable items were changing the charging speed while gaming, the 6GB VRAM option, fixing USB-C compatibility issues, and the introduction of switching the memory frequency to be lower. This would typically help games being run at lower power profiles. There's a very detailed game comparison for this by Tekasaur, which I have in the description, so check that out if you're interested. It was also mentioned that there was going to be some performance fixes. Then there was a leaked version of the BIOS that got released shortly after this update post that had almost all of these features that everyone was eager to test out. A couple of days later then, Lenovo surprised us with a bunch of new things. First, they made a new separate Legion Go discussion group on their community forums so that it's no longer part of just the Legion laptop area. Next, inside that forum, they introduced an official beta program. That's right, hopefully we won't have to rely on leaks anymore for beta BIOS or graphic driver updates from shady third-party sources. They do, of course, have a disclaimer to using these, and in the description of this video is the link to the new BIOS as well as the new graphics driver update, so be sure to check it out. I have a beta BIOS update video if you're unfamiliar with the process, so be sure to check that out. I did want to test out the new BIOS and see if there were any notable performance differences with it compared to the previous stable version, so the rest of this video is going to focus on some of the benchmarks to see if there was any notable performance improvements just with the new BIOS alone. All benchmarking tests for 3D Mark were at 100% brightness, 0% audio, and the BIOS set to 4GB VRAM and the Go was plugged in. No other tweaks have been made on my Legion Go. This is the stock Windows image it comes with. Core isolation and VMP settings are still intact as they were with stock Windows and the graphics drivers in use are the official Lenovo ones that were released on November 6th. So first we're going to dive into testing with TimeSpy with the old BIOS and it's set to the 20 watt performance thermal mode with the OS power mode set to balanced. And with this I had a score of 28 38. Now, jumping over to the new BIOS with the same power profile settings, I had a score of 2913, which is about a 2.6% score increase with the newer BIOS. Next on the old BIOS, I ran TimeSpy again, but this time with the 30 watt custom thermal mode and again with the OS power modes set to balanced and received a score of 3197. On the new BIOS, using that same custom 30 watt mode, I received a score of 3187, so really not that much different here and you could definitely say this is within the same margin at only a 10 point difference. Next I went ahead and ran the Cyberpunk benchmark. Again the same brightness and audio settings, 4GB VRAM and running at 800p with the Steam Deck preset and VSync off. Each benchmark comparison was run three times in a row and then the totals were averaged. So on the old BIOS with the 20 watt performance thermal mode and then the OS power mode set to performance we had a max FPS of 96.38, an average of 60.4 FPS and the minimum ended up at 17.73. Compared with the new BIOS on the same thermal and OS power modes, we had a max FPS of 92.71, an average of 59.41, and then the minimum ended up at 18.53. So in this case, we had mixed results. We have an increase on the old BIOS of 3.88% on max FPS, 1.65% on average FPS, and we actually did better on the minimum with the new BIOS with a 4.41% increase. So then I ran one more comparison with the same settings but at the 30 watt custom thermal mode and performance OS power mode. In this case on the old BIOS we had a max FPS of 106.9, an average of 67.44, and a minimum of 21.67. Then on the new BIOS we had a max FPS of 104.2, average of 65.12, and a minimum of 16.59. The old BIOS is clearly the winner for the custom mode on all fronts with an increase of 2.55% for max, 3.5% for average, and a whopping 26.5% on minimum. Unfortunately, in its current state, the 30 watt custom mode still seems like it has a lot of work, but it seems like there might be a very slight performance improvement on the 20 watt performance thermal mode on the new BIOS. And also it may trickle down 
down to the lower thermal profiles, but those remain untested at this time. I hope this has provided a little bit of insight into the current state of the Legion Go. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to test out the beta graphic drivers just yet, so if you tried them, please let me know in the comments below how they're working for you. And make sure to join the Legion Go community forums or join my Discord to get more Legion Go updates from the Lenovo beta testing program. That's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you next time.